Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Jojo Kimyo na Bokuen Daimyo no Kuda Kenai. In other words, you could call it Jojo no Kimyo. You could call it Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part Four. Diamond is unbreakable on episode two. This episode right here kicks off where it left off last week's episode. And last week's episode, oh man, dude, what a good way, what a good episode that was to me. And this episode right here, oh yeah, baby, Jojo's back in action. So we have to it that Angelo, that creepy criminal mother, you know, is on the move again and tries to cause some major trouble. However, that did not become the case in in other in other words, since like um Angelo was trying to use the milk to try to like um get inside or possess someone's body, but apparently with like um. Angelo's ideas of using the sewer and so forth, he managed to go in there, in, in the house. And we get to see JoJo's new opening. Now, to me, I gotta say, I do like it. It's like old school disco kind of thing. But, you know, um, it's still cool in a certain way. And Jotaro's in there. Yeah, Jotaro's like super cool to me in my eyes, you know? Anyways, um, Jotaro gives a call to Josuke and lets him know that you gotta make sure you don't drink anything or eat anything, Okay. That's what I'm going to tell you right now, apparently. But we have to it that it was a little bit too late on that. And and Josuke sees that the stand enters his mother's um, mouth and so forth. But apparently he used a water bottle, etc. And managed to trap the mother er, in. But apparently he managed to make his escape after um, we see um, Josuke's mom. Um, Josuke's mom's father comes in. Well, that, that's Josuke's grandfather. Comes in, plays a prank on him, but apparently Jotaro um, comes to his house right on time. But at the same time, Josuke kept his eyes off on the bottle on the stand, which I tell him, No, 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 you shouldn't do that! Which is a bad move, not a good plan, and boom. It looks like Josuke's grandfather op opened the bottle, possibly, and then the stand entered him, killed him, and leaves the house right away. And apparently we have to it that... um. That, that the grandfather is dead, apparently. Josuke tries to revive him with his healing powers, but it didn't work. And Jotaro tells Josuke, Hey, let me tell you something, man. Like, it's not going to work out like this. Once a life is taken, you can't revive it or take it back. No matter what stand you have. And therefore, this upsets Josuke, and the grandfather has a funeral... And Josuke tells his mom to go live at a relative's house for now while he takes care of some things, you know? And we have to it that he talks to Jotaro for a bit and he gets ready to like, um, take down Angelo. But Angelo was waiting for the time, perfect moment, and it became a rainy day and that did not become so good. Apparently, the stand entered the house after having a little sparring match with, um, Jotaro for a bit. And Jotaro and Josuke enters the house and... Well, Jotaro enters the house and they end up having trouble with this guy, Stan, due to the fact that he could like him take any form or be in any form in types in terms of liquid liquid, you know? Such as steam in the water and anything that has water. You know, you guys get the point. But apparently Josuke made a move that might have been a little risky. He breaks open a he breaks open a wall and enters a room with Jotaro. But the Stan ends up entering Josuke, but Josuke had this coming. He had a Shredded up rubber glove inside him, he swallowed, and he uses his stand to trap it in there. So they went after Angelo after seeing him bumping, jumping out of a tree. And Jotaro and Josuke cornered him to a rock, apparently. And he goes like, what are you going to do? Kill me? You're not going to be the same as me. But apparently Josuke told, tells him to shut up after punching his hand and having, having his hand infused in a rock. And he tells the guy, he tells Angelo by saying... You're going to stay in the city forever, okay? So, I hope you repent on what you did. And apparently, he used that freaking multiple freaking punch on the guy. And he's infused into the rock, apparently. And it was pretty good. And it was the rightful punishment for him, you know? And I'm glad Josuke didn't kill him, you know? But he gave him something way worse than death. <laughs> and that's being infused in the rock and can unable to move and I can imagine him slowly dying or just staying there in agony right now <laughs> whatever he deserved it after what the hell he has done you know 
killing people, kids, adults, anyone alike. So, yeah, pretty cool episode. Finished off the part where they defeated Angelo and put him down for the count. So, hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. I think JoJo literally just took first place for me in 2016, uh, anime of 2016, okay? Year of anime 2016. Yada, yada, yada. You guys get the point. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video or so. I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. Until then, I'm AlphaZero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.